Hey everyone, um, today's going to be a pretty fun vlog. Um, I've decided to do a thing called My Life in Five Riffs. Now I saw this on Guitar Player Magazine and I saw Marcus King do it and a whole bunch of other people and thought that'd be really fun to do. Like what, what are five riffs in my life that really changed the way I play? And it got me thinking and um, it's really hard to just choose five but I think I've, I think I've found five. So I'm going to be doing my top five riffs for you today. Up first I have Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner and as funny as it sounds to have that as like my first riff, it's the first song I ever learnt on guitar. My parents got me a guitar around the age of 10 and I was sort of plucking away until they got me lessons. I came out of my first lesson playing Sweet Home Alabama. But this song can be, as I feel it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be because there are some really simple chords going on but then you can dive into the riffs and then you can really dive into like the lead guitar parts with there being three guitarists and Skinner. There's a lot to choose from. <laughs> so here it is. Up second, I have a song by Jeff Beck, and who recently unfortunately passed away. Um, I grew up listening to Jeff Beck and still today he's been my number one guitarist. I learnt this song in grade 11 for a musical performance that I had to do for I guess my assessment and this is the first piece of Jeff Beck's music I learnt. Um, this one's called Because We've Ended As Lovers and it's one of the first instrumental piece I've, pieces I've learnt and one of those songs that really changed the way I play and made me want to play differently and be a, be a better guitarist essentially. Third, I have a track called in memory of Elizabeth Reed uh, by the Allman Brothers. And I'm not sure if I learnt this track and went to work and was jamming with my friend and we were jamming that, or if he taught me the song. I think he might have taught me a fair bit of the song. But I used to I used to go into work um, and be playing guitar and then whenever me and my friend Carl had breaks, we'd jam together. And this is definitely one of the songs we used to jam. And uh, it's one of those songs that has so many parts. So I, like to, I like to call it musical acrobats because it's just that many changes, that many different techniques and things like that, and you'll never get bored playing it. For number four, I have Eevee Part 1, and um, I only recently got into the, the Easy Beat over the last couple of years, um, and Stevie Wright's work, and I had the opportunity to play with Lee Rose, who was good friends with Stevie Wright, and um, we performed together with the Giants band, and did a set of um, Easy Beats and Stevie Wright tunes. I could do that all week, playing playing those songs, but it was really fun. It was It's one of those styles I'm into, and... To do it on stage with a full band is really, really fun, and especially just playing those songs, so yeah. Last, but definitely not least, um, this song is by Marcus King. This one's called The Well, and I only recently got into Marcus King over the last couple of years. It was the same with uh, Stevie Wright. But this guy's guitar playing has really changed the way I look at music and the way I play. And this song is just a, one of those classic rock riffs. It's off his, um, I think, his newest record. And yeah, it's it's really fun to play along with these musicians, um, even the recordings or seeing them live um, and learning from them. That's that's what I love doing the most is jamming along with other people and picking up pieces here and there and um, that's really what I feel like shapes being a guitarist is just jamming 
and um, playing with other musicians and figuring out the style of music you want to make. And yeah, this is definitely one of those tracks that really kicked me into a different direction uh, musically. <laughs> That sums it up um, for today's vlog, but if you enjoyed, feel free to like and comment and all that, um, and subscribe, and um, share, most importantly. And yeah, if you like these sort of videos, I'm going to keep doing them. Every Wednesday, 5pm, I'll be putting out a new video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.